Well, hello and dear all premenopausal women and birthing people, those of us that are still having a period. If you don't want to get pregnant, if you are uncertain of your family plans, if you are young and afraid of an uh-oh moment now that you're sexually active, or if your periods are a beast, or even if they're not a beast, but you are not interested in an unplanned pregnancy, then I'm talking to you today. And some others, I may, may be talking to you as well. This isn't a list that's meant to be all inclusive, but rather all about birth control. What you see here are just some of the options that you have available to you, okay? Let's talk about those options here for a moment. It's just the list goes on and on. I'm just gonna throw some things out. Torla, this is a ring, Zulane, a patch, Fexi, it's a vaginal gel, it is not a spermicide. Kylina is a form of IUD. Morena, another form of IUD. Anovera, a ring. And then Nexplanon, that implant that goes in the arm. All right? You got Nuva Ring, this goes in the vagina. All the display stuff is not the true color or real product, but just meant for demo purposes. Then you got birth control pills. I couldn't get all of them on here if I wanted to. Just brought some to display to you. Balcultra, Slend. This has estrogen and progesterone. Progesterone only. Low, low estrin, the lowest dose birth control pill on the market that has estrogen and progesterone, but the lowest dose of estrogen out there right now, 10 micrograms, all right? Then there's the implant that goes in the arm. I'm gonna bring it in close. You kinda can see it bulging out in the arm there uh, on this display, but once it's placed under the skin, you shouldn't be able to feel or see it or it'd be noticeable to anyone else. Paragard IUD is another IUD. This is better known to some as the copper IUD. I like this display because it shows you how the IUD should be situated in the uterus up at the fundus, those arms open wide, and then the strings coming out of the vagina, enough for it to be removed when it's time. And that's the, pre the premise for all IUDs, but IUDs vary as to whether or not they have no hormone, like the Paragard, versus something like Liletta, which does have hormone, progesterone only. And then if you look over here, I've got Skyla, I've got Morena, and there's another daughter I say to Morena called Kylina. I talked about that one in the brochure. I don't have that one on display though, all right? But the idea there is different dosages of progesterone, how long that you can keep them in place, and size. Lastly, I wanna bring you back to old school, some would say diaphragm. Yes, there is a company that still makes diaphragms. So I'll sit that back over there and let you think on that for a moment, all right? So in the midst of the overturning of Roe v. Wade, all right, what does this mean for women in your state? I say to you today, take control of your family planning strategy. Talk to your OBGYN, your family medicine, or your internal medicine doctor. Birth control will not find you, okay? Work to find what may work best for you depending on your individual needs and desires. Let's continue to work tirelessly together to explore options that are available. This fight is not over. Our choices are not done. And our ability to make women's health women's well-being and women's care, we still have power in that. Find your power in something listed here or even not listed here if it's the best thing for you. Yours truly, Dr. Crystal Roberts, Doc Who Listens. And if you'll join me here, I'll take a little sip of beet juice because this current state in our society will not beat us. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome day.